Good evening. It's Facebook Love number 162. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a challenging day. I found a poem about the month of October. And um, it's very beautiful. And it's by the lovely Mary Oliver, who is one of my chief comforters when I need beautiful words to center myself. Again, it's called October. There's this shape, black as the entrance to a cave. A longing wells up in its throat like a blossom as it breathes slowly. What does the world mean to you if you can't trust it to go on shining when you're not there? And there's a tree long fallen. Once the bees flew to it like a procession of messengers and filled it with honey. I said to the chickadee, singing his heart out in the green pine tree, little dazzler, little song, little mouthful. The shape climbs up out of the curled grass. It grunts into view. There is no measure for the confidence at the bottom of its eyes. There is no telling the suppleness of its shoulders as it turns and yawns. Near the fallen tree something, a leaf snapped loose from the branch and fluttering down, tries to pull me into its trap of attention. It pulls me into its trap of attention. And when I turn again, the bear is gone. Look, hasn't my body already felt like the body of a flower? Look, I want to love this world as though it's the last chance I'm ever going to get to be alive and to know it. Sometimes in late summer, I won't touch anything, not the flowers, not the blackberries brimming in the thickets. I won't drink from the pond. I won't name the birds or the trees. I won't whisper my own name. One morning, the fox came down the hill, glittering and confident, and didn't see me, and I thought, so this is the world. I'm not in it. It is beautiful. October by Mary Oliver. There's a poem on the next page that just caught my eye, and I think I need to read it. Some questions you might ask. Is the soul solid like iron? Or is it tender and breakable like the wings of a moth in the beak of an owl? Who has it and who doesn't? I keep looking around me. The face of the moose is as sad as the face of Jesus. The swan opens her white wings slowly. In the fall, the black bear carries leaves into the darkness. One question leads to another. Does it have a shape? Like an iceberg? Like the eyes of a hummingbird? Does it have one lung? Like the snake and the scallop? Why should I have it and not the anteater who loves her children? Why should I have it and not the camel? Come to think of it, what about the maple trees? What about the blue iris? What about all the little stones sitting alone in the moonlight? What about roses and lemons and their shining leaves? What about the grass? Some questions you might ask by Mary Oliver. This is Facebook Love. 
If you've gotten this far, I might as well say it now, so it's not a big public thing, but my son was diagnosed with COVID-19, and we're worried because he had to go to the hospital. And they're watching him, and he's going to be fine, but it's still very worrisome and um, nerve-wracking. And of course, my husband and I don't know, you know, what that means for the household. What if one of us was sick with Noah's symptoms and gave it to him? Or what if he's the first one to get it and now we are going to get it? We don't know. There's just so many questions. So, this is Facebook Love and beauty is still a thing and it matters a lot. I'll see you again.